So now I have all of the hardware capabilities, the XYZ axes, the home switches, the um, e-stop button, and the spindle speed control on off as well as speed control working from my Linux CNC software control via the parallel port breakout board. So the conversion to a parallel port control is essentially finished. At this point, I'm free to make upgrades, such as having a uh, touch-off pad or maybe some type of RPM sensing on the spindle itself. This is my KB spindle motor drive board. It takes 120 volts AC in, and it delivers about 0 to 90 volts DC out to the spindle motor to control its speed. The variable speed is controlled via an input here that's a 0 to 10 volt input. And those wires come over from the um, Baldor Next Move ST board. So the circuitry over on this side of the board provides that isolated 0 to 10 volt signal off of a 5 volt logic line. This thing up at the top is the DC to DC converter and the chip that's covered in hot glue directly below it is an opto isolator. That's essentially a photo transistor that's controlled by an optically isolated LED. Below that we have some analog circuitry and an op amp that will integrate the PWM signal and send it out the S out line. So to control this guy normally there's a trace um, the LED, the positive side, which is pin 2, is hooked up to plus 5 volts permanently, and the negative side, which is pin 3, goes over to a resistor, this resistor number 29, which is a surface mount resistor mounted right there, and that, through the resistor to limit current, goes into pin 12 on this NEC chip, which is a programmable counter timer. Um, so when the top board was mounted on top of this, it would program that chip to put a particular PWM signal out of the output pin 12. It would go through the current limiting resistor into the LED and flicker the LED at a certain PWM rate. Now, unfortunately, to program this guy, you need about eight data lines plus several control lines, and I didn't want to just program it over the fly. Um, so what I'm doing is I remove the surface mount resistor, R29 here, that decouples this pin number three from that chip, and I just soldered a 200 ohm resistor. This was a 220, but I just soldered a 200 ohm resistor to pin three, and then the other end goes to this red wire, and I used hot glue for some strain relief, and so that red wire goes up to my breakout board. The other end of the wire simply goes into any output. I happen to be using pin 14 on my breakout board. So this allows me to control the spindle speed via the pulse width modulation output on pin 14. Mm -hmm. 